Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Hager 3977US2C. This is a Sargent or Yale cam. This is going to fit onto the back of their, I think, 3902 cylinder or 3977 uh, cylinder. That's what it says. This would be appropriate for obviously installing a Hager cylinder into a Sargent or Yale uh, lock. They don't list all of the different locks that this would be compatible with. Uh, it wouldn't be every single one of their mortise locks to be sure, um, but is a generic design for Yale and Sargent. And the way that they know what size to use is the 0 .77, 0 .733 radius. That's a dimension from the center line to the radius to the tip of the um, cam itself. And I can use my caliper and we can kind of just roughly verify what that would uh, look like from the center down to the tip. Yeah, I mean, if I eyeball that, I'm coming up with 0.73. Sorry, just want to get the, there we go. Just eyeballing it, that's what that's coming up with. Um, some other dimensional properties, the width of the tail of it, so to speak. 0 0.168, 0 0.168 wide. Why might you need a cam from Hager to stick a mortise cylinder into a Sargent or Yale? Well, generally why that's done is because you're using Company A's keying system in Company B's locks. Now, I don't see that often when it comes to Hager key, uh, cylinders into other people's locks but there would be no reason why it doesn't happen. Hager has, of course, keyways that match other manufacturers, but then they have their own keyway, their H1, H2, H3. Uh, there are three keyways. So it's a small multiplex system, and the H1 is the standard. Um, you would be able to introduce a Hager keying system into a, an environment where you had other manufacturers' lock bodies, Schlage, Sargent, Yale, etc. This cam would allow you to get that Hager cylinder installed into a Sargent or a Yale. That's where you would see this. It's most commonly done, it's certainly far more commonly done when you are installing Medeco into anyone else's key system. Why Medeco? Well, that's really their business. You're not going to buy a mortise lock from Medeco, uh, although they've made deadbolts in the past. You're not going to buy lots of different lock types from them, but you will buy from them high security uh, conventional large format interchangeable, small format interchangeable cores, the housings for those. Their whole business model is getting you high security cylinders that you're going to end up installing in other people's locks. So that's the kind of concept. And I say Medeco only because that's, you know, I've heard them described as the father of um, compatibility. Something like that is the term where they make a cylinder that will fit in everybody's lock because it's their high security keying system that they really are selling. Anyway, let's switch to the screen view and take a closer look at some supporting information. Okay, so here's the item that we are indeed looking at. We have some photographs, let's take a look at them now. That's the box that this came out of. That's the cam itself. Let's do this. That 0.733 they were talking about. Let's get a closer look at that. And if you'll just bear with me, we're going to pull that up. So I have that opened up in a, uh, you know, just photos here. So the 0.733, that's going to be from here to here. That's what they're referring to, that dimension. Very important when you are, you know, making sure that you've got the right cam. So there you go. A little close-up view, I suppose. Side view and the rear side as well. Now back to the item that we are looking at here. 3977 cam. Priced as each, 
product catalog is here. Okay, the item that we are looking at as we scroll through, we're going to find all of these cams. We'll go through them. The Yale cam, very common cam to go into the back of a Yale mortise lock. Um, that, <laughs> that cam design may not have changed for decades, if not well over a century. Adams Wright style, this is the MS cam. Adams Wright actually has three different cam types. This is the one that's by far the most common. The other two are basically variations on a standard cam uh, where they're just, they look like the Marks cam, but they're a little bit shorter, or I should say a standard cam. Um, now, standard clover leaf. I think of old uh, Corbin locks when I think of that standard Corbin leaf. Uh, Corbin leaf, clover leaf. There are some manufacturers that will use a clover leaf cam like this standard style. A Marks cam. Their mortise locks take their own cam. The standard cam is going to be typical for very old mortise locks and auxiliary hardware like trim on exit devices or key switches. The Schlegel cam for L9000 series, other, you know, other series of mortise locks, the L400, the Sergeant Yale that we're looking at, and then the Corbin Russwin best clover leaf style. So this document's handy because it will show you all of these piece parts that go along with Hager keys and cylinders and the related products to it. The 3902 would be the typical um, cylinder that you would install uh, a cam onto. So again, if you were going to be running a Hager keyway into a, you know, into a Schlegel series lock, you're going to need the 30, well, you're going to need, you're, well, you're, you're going to need the 3902 in the right keyway, and then you're going to need the cam to make that job work. And as you scroll through, you'll find other things related to the cylinders, cores, and keying section of what Hager does. This is small format, a mortise cylinder that is a small format housing. Cams for small format mortise cylinders, they are different because they, uh, while the cam is the same, the, the part number for the cam is different because they have to place those holes for the screws in a different location. If they put them in the standard location at three and nine, um, it would, it would, con con there'd be a conflict with space required by the core itself. So different types of cams there a um, Hager large format interchangeable core, I'm having trouble here. Uh, et cetera. Cams for those large format, again, those are different because they only take one screw, again, because that core is vying for space of where you would run a screw for a standard cam. Now, here's that Hager keying system I've been mentioning. This is a three keyway system, H1, 2, and 3. The H12 and the H23 are multi-section key blanks. These are only key blanks, and that's an all-section blank. Okay, So you can do Hager-specific Hager keyways, and they're out there. We stock their key blanks. People order those. Okay, That's what their key looks like in the different uh, millings that you can do. And uh, more of the same, really. This would be the Hager specific material. The rear end of this section is an encyclopedic approach to the theory of different levels of keys and keying that can be done in level in, in two level, three level, and four level systems are obviously explained here. This would be a five-level system, or maybe not. One, two, three. No, it's a four-level system with a selective master key. The engineer, the engineer uh, ENG stands for engineer. It's called the selective master key. There it is, mentioned right there. If you are interested in the world of locksmithing, this would be a great document for you to read. Also talks about the standard key coding system as well, which is the definition and way by which we literally will name cylinders in the system. Okay, it's a pretty handy document. Now, on this link here to the manufacturer's page, we click on that. 
we will be able to review not only all of the Hager products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. That's a pretty handy document, the entire product catalog. It's several hundred pages worth of Hager products, and their cover page really says almost all of it. Roton continuous geared hinges, uh, commercial, industrial, institutional hinges, trim and auxiliary, pin and barrel hinges, exits, low energy operators, bifold, bypass, pocket sliding door material, residential hardware like profile cylinders and residential hinges, gasketing, closers, lock sets. Um, they're missing, what are they missing? Not much. Uh, auxiliary hardware like filler plates for steel doors and frames, uh, signage, but it's rather comprehensive, just the cover alone. Certainly electrified hardware uh, as well. Uh, by you know, Illustrated by this low energy operator that's here. So a pretty comprehensive offering. Now, the keying core and cylinder manual that we went to, there's also the Hager keying service manual, which does a deeper dive into only the H family of keying that they do. So if you want to learn how to pin their material and what it takes to do that in terms of equipment, know-how, their depth and spacing data chart is here, this would be the companion document to the Coors King and um, Coors King, and I forget the name of the document already. It was called uh, Cylinders, Coors, and King. Uh, it would be the companion document to that. Okay. All the tools that you would need to pin their material are here as well. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, the name Hager is synonymous with, um, as I had said earlier, you know, a dozen or so primary categories when it comes to um, commercial uh, builder's hardware. The name Hager is synonymous with uh, all of that material, pretty much everything for the door and frame, except the door and frame itself, in fact. The name Hager is really uh, known, at least by me, as Hager Hinge, and that's how I know them, really, as a hinge company. But as you go through their catalog, you'll see that they do everything else. Um, and what people like about that is you've got one order to one company that can supply all of the different line items. That's an advantage for some people. And I know that there are distributors and end users who like Hager for that reason alone. I know that there are employees here that have been with them for decades. There's a gal there. There's a gentleman there, a lady uh, there uh, that I have been speaking to since the early 90s. They are still there, still working, and they still do their jobs, etc. If you have any questions on the 3977 Sargent or Yale cam for a Hager cylinder or any other Hager product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.